and different players that average at least five points per game. How, how difficult is it preparing for a team without much depth? Um, it's hard, it's hard because you never know who's gonna, gonna have have their day, and um, it's almost like playing Tennessee, you know, going going to Tennessee. You know, um, they had like a couple guys that all had like 20 points at one point in time in the season, all that led the team to score. And you, you really don't know, like, it's not a team where you're like, oh, okay, if we stop this guy, then we got a chance. You know, you got you to gotta guard everybody and respect everybody because um, with a team like that, anybody can have their day. And, and they go, uh, like Coach always said, don't let nobody have a birthday game. <laughs> Sidious, what's it like to try to learn this defense, especially when you come from like high school and you think you know what playing defense is, and then you get here? Uh, man, it's tough. Um, um, I think the hardest thing is uh, the, the, the in line part. Um, coach has stayed in line. Um, you know, we used to, you know, when your man pass the ball, you can relax and you know, be good for that for that until he catches the ball. Where now it's even harder when you when your man don't have the ball because you still have to be in line and deny and all that stuff. So it's a lot harder. It's almost learning like basketball all over again when, when you get here. And, you know, you can learn it so fast. Mike, I see you smiling. Uh, do you relate to that? Yeah, I definitely relate. Uh, I'd say yeah, before playing in high school, uh, you could like go to defense to, to rest a little bit and then start attacking on offense again. But over here, it's rather the other way around, or yeah. rather the rest of the offense. Happy you get the ball, like, yes. I catch my breath now. Defense is when you can't rest. That's it. and it, it, every time you try to take a playoff, that's when that's when you get you get caught messing up or out of line or something. When you try to take that break. Yeah, Mike, just kind of following up on that, how you handle the demands coaches place on you? I think out of everyone on the team, I see him come down hardest on you, it seems, during the games at times. How are you kind of handling that? How do you feel you're progressing and what coach wants from you on the field? I mean, uh, of course, it may seem a little hard at times when he uh, screams at me, but I know it's for the best and he has high uh, expectations and wants the best for me. So. I will just try to get everything that he wants from me and put it on the court. Sin, I think uh, Coach White's now in the second year at, the, at Florida. Schematically and personnel-wise, is Florida any different now compared to a couple years ago when, when Coach Donovan was there? Oh uh, yeah, definitely uh, a lot different. Well, I mean, when when we played Florida a couple years ago, when I first got here, you know, we was young. Uh, we didn't really understand the game and, you know, they didn't really take it as much serious. And, you know, those guys was older um, with, um, you know, uh, what's the point guard name that was there? Uh, Wilberkin, Scotty Wilberkin. Oh, my God. One of the best defenders. And, you know, luckily they don't have a Scotty Wilberkin right now leading their team. But, you know, Casey Hill's good, too. You know, that team's older. And the, the, the team they have now, they are, like, interchangeable. You know, they have a lot of wings. Um, they switch. They switch on, on everything, and, you know. And, and it's that's hard when you're trying to run offense and stuff like that. But they're a good team, and uh, they well coached, and they play hard. They play real hard. And, you know, we got to we got to come in matching their intensity, and you know, run as much offense as we can, and execute, and do whatever coach asks us to do.